Hi. Alright, so today is Wednesday, October 21st, 2009, and because I started hormones on January, um, either 20th or 21st, I never remember, uh, today would pretty much be exactly nine months on the hormones, and it's been good. I can't believe it's already been that long. Um, oh hey, my fish is looking at me. Anyway, um, so... Yeah, I figured I would actually talk about, like, um, changes and stuff this time. So, let's see. Um, I feel as though my personality has not changed, like, at all whatsoever. I feel like the exact same person. Um, I will, like, my temper, I feel, is a little bit shorter, and some things irritate me a little bit more, but I don't act on them often, so I don't feel as though, like, that's really... A ginormous part of um of who I am so I still make funny jokes and I feel more comfortable um with myself which I think is adding to me giving off like a vibe where um more people are more comfortable with me too um a lot of people have started talking to me and like opening up to me more than they used to and it might just be a college thing too I don't know but anyway I feel really um mentally healthy is a good word for it. I feel physically healthy too. Um, I haven't gotten sick yet, and so that's good. No, no flu or anything, which is excellent. Um, and the other change I've noticed is hair. Hair is everywhere. Um, I actually shaved a couple hours ago, but I am starting to get significant like sort of facial hair things. Um, it grows in like right under my sideburns. It starts oh, wrong side, right? Okay, so right under my sideburns, it like starts growing in. Um, and it'll come down to, like, here, and be kind of like where my acne is. It comes down, and it's just, like, these, like, they're thin hairs, but there's, like, a lot of them. And they, they kind of, like, dwindle out here, and they come back here, like, on my chin. Um, and the thing I've noticed is when I first, like, like about a month ago, I, I would shave right here. And I always play, I play with my chin constantly. Um, just because the hair, as it grows, and it feels good. So I would notice that, like, about a month ago, I shaved, and, like, it literally took like, a week for stubble to appear, but I shaved three days ago, and today I shaved because I could physically feel, like, like, they're visible, um, so the more I do shave, I guess, the, the better it's growing back, so <laughs> that's exciting, although I don't know how I'd look with a full beard, but I guess I'd rather find out and know that I look terrible than never grow one, so I'll just keep shaving, <laughs> um, so that's been good, I've got hair, like, also, my arms have gotten really hairy. Yeah, you can't really see it on, like, camera. But they're a lot hairier. My back is hairier. My legs are, like... I don't even know if I can show you, but I've got, like, monsoonly hairy legs. Um, and I kind of like that, so that's good. And, um, let's see. Uh, the fat distribution, um, it didn't... I felt like it happened a lot at first, but I feel like I'm noticing it a lot more... Um, now actually it might not really be fat distribution um that kind of all changed around within a few months but the muscle growth like from like curviness to like being like that i feel like right here is like really it's like it's like grown out here so it's not like going in but it just like goes kind of straight um and that's like that's pretty cool i've noticed like weird this weird muscle that like grows down like it comes from like the back of my shoulder and it goes down so that was never there before and it is now um lots of muscles like my muscles haven't i you know if i worked out harder and ate meat maybe i would have had like big muscles but at the same time i don't really need them for anything um climbing trees doesn't take that much strength but you know so that's been good um my voice, I feel like, has pretty much leveled out. It, it sounds a little bit deeper every week, um, or not every week, but every once in a while. But in terms of singing, I feel like I definitely found my range kind of area. So that's been good. And um, in terms of passing, I, you know, I don't, <laughs> no one really questions it. So that's nice. And um, yeah, overall, I feel really good. I have a little bit less than 70 days until my surgery, and I can't wait um, for what that journey is going to bring. Um, I wish that I could tell, I I told my GSA about me, um, I'm, every time I see someone that's in GSA now I get kind of nervous, 
that maybe they like told somebody but at the same time like I feel like they wouldn't and even if they did I also feel like it isn't a big deal unless I tell someone it's like who's I don't know I don't really know how I feel about it um but <laughs> I guess I'll work on that but um I've I was thinking like as I was walking down here from my class is like that transitioning has been this really big journey like it's a big part of my life it's as if I'm a glacier and I'm hiding a woolly mammoth inside of me like fully frozen you know I'm like that's really rare <laughs> um that's really cool I wish I had a woolly mammoth inside of me but I don't I'm sorry <laughs> and I feel like it's such it's something that's really interesting and is a big part of me that I want to share but at the same time if I did tell people it would just like open up this ginormous can of worms um happy peace loving worms but I don't know if I'm ready for that so I guess I'll just have to see like the important people in my life know um as Adam said right now so we'll see kind of what what happens with that but um anyway I just wanted to show you something that I made um for this uh gallery it's called this is a club here called races and they're doing an exhibit um, and the, like, their motto is, we all have roots, so it's, it's a lot about, they said, like, it said, like, culture, gender, like, sexual orientation, like, so all this stuff, and I could have done anything, um, so I drew amoebas, because I figure, like, I, we all came from, like, a single cell, so I wanted to show you, because I am an art major, and I've never shown any of my art, um, personally, I don't usually like my art, this is just one thing that I actually really did like, um, so, here it is, and it's, like, alright, so, it's an amoeba, and there's all these, like, amoebas in the background, too, and it says, um, where I'm going and where I was is where I will be, and the title of it is what it looks like from far away, and it's kind of big, I don't usually make many big things, but, um, and the title of it is, I'm from a single cell, where did you come from, so, I feel like that really kind of whether or not it reflects my culture, I feel like it kind of reflects on what um, I feel is important in life. Is like we all came from the same place and like just we grew up differently. So yeah, um, so like me being transgender, like I don't think it has anything to like makes me any different than anybody else. Like we all have cells in our body, like you know. So that's all I really have to say. This has gone on for a while. I don't usually talk this much. But I hope you all are doing well, and I hope you have a great weekend. I'm going home this weekend. I'm really excited. Um, I miss my mom, and I miss my girlfriend, and my best friends, too. So that would be so great. Um, and I'm going to go sleep. So, <laughs> yeah, it's something I don't do much <laughs> in college. But um, I hope you all are doing well, and peace and love. And I will be back next week, probably. So it's nine months, and...